To begin our Sunrise Smart Start, some breaking news overnight as Rochester police say they're looking for the person or persons responsible for shooting a man on Dewey Avenue last night. Just before 10 p.m., RPD was called to the area for a shot spotter activation. A short time later, a man in his 20s was dropped off at a local hospital with at least one gunshot wound saying he'd come from that scene on Dewey. No suspects to name here, so call 911 if you think you know anything. New information this morning, a Victor woman is seriously hurt after her husband allegedly ran her over in Manchester. The Ontario County Sheriff's Office tells us this all happened just around 8 Saturday night on West Main Street. Deputies say they found the 74-year-old woman being aided by several Good Samaritans who were trying to control her bleeding after her husband accidentally ran over her leg while picking up a group while they were eating dinner. The man allegedly thought everybody was already inside the vehicle, so he started driving forward, and that is when he ran over his wife's leg. When he realized what happened, he reportedly reversed to get the tire off of her. She was rushed to the hospital. OCSO notes the man was not impaired or intoxicated at the time. It does appear to be an accident due to lack of attention or distraction. Well, in the wake of Hurricane Helene, millions are still without power and complicating the recovery efforts down in the southeast. Gas shortages and spotty cell phone service also across the area. The Associated Press reports there is a rising death toll, nearing 100 people. Across the monster storm's devastating path, stretching more than 600 miles and several states. In the hard-hit North Carolina area, as we're looking at in the video here, communities are underwater and supplies are being airlifted in. Today, the city and RPD will meet with business owners along East Avenue and Alexander Street discussing the results from the first night of age restrictions and traffic closures in the area. Last week, the city declared the area would become a special event zone, only allowing those 21 and older onto the strips for Saturday nights. It's in an effort to curb what is a reported increase in violence and loitering in the area, something the city is allowed to do under Mayor Malik Evans' gun violence state of emergency, which has been in place since July. July of 2022. RPD was stopping pedestrians, checking IDs, and then granting them access via wristbands. There were also stopping points for ride share service vehicles. We did ask folks who either live in the area or frequent East Ave, what do they think about these new rules? Well, I'm glad there's some type of restrictions before it got too, too crazy. Um, to where it's like now we have to respond, now we have to react versus respond. And I think this is a great response to what's been going on the last three, four years. It's going to definitely keep people away. Um, but I don't think it needs to be every weekend. However, I understand the first weekend. But if it's every weekend, that's just going to push crime somewhere else. Well, the zoning restrictions will stay in place every Saturday from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. and until further notice. Happening later today, a trial for the Rochester man connected to multiple shootings and a murder case that's set to begin. Rochester police say that September 1st of last year, 34-year-old Marlon Williams shot at three people standing in a driveway on 1st Street. Nobody was hurt in that shooting, but police also took Williams into custody a few days later as he's further accused of fatally shooting 24-year-old Shaquan Parker on Wellington Avenue. This was in July of 2022. RPD says Parker was the intended target and that Parker had no known criminal record or affiliations. Charges against Williams include murder, attempted murder, and criminal possession of a weapon. Who will be due in court today at 9.30. Also in court today, one of the two women charged in connection to a deadly shooting in Rochester. Police found the victim, 42-year-old Lenard Davis, dead behind the wheel of a car at the scene of a crash. This was Congress Avenue here back in September of 2022. There was a woman and a 10-year-old child in the car at the time, sadly. Police identified 36-year-old Dominique Glenn as one of the suspects. Police say Glenn shot Davis at a family gathering, later fleeing to Atlanta with Shaquilla Lindsay. Both women now charged with murder and criminal possession of a weapon. Weapon. That trial picks up at 930. Well, turning to this new research, it suggests more than 70% of students across Albany, Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse all fail to reach their grade level in reading and math. 
Ron Spitzer was able to speak with the National Parents Union, their New York State director, about the findings. Joining us live in the studio now with what this may mean for Rochesterians. Iran. The National Parents Union's annual critical condition state of education in New York report claims that less than 7% of Rochester students in grades 4 through 8 are proficient in math. Now that means grade level. And even still, there are disparities between racial and ethnic groups, economically disadvantaged students, English language learners, and students with disabilities. This is publicly sourced information, by the way, through the New York State Education Department website. Ashara Baker, the NPU's New York State Director, tells me the state has not invested in an evidence-based curriculum and learning methods like the science of reading, which is a body of scientifically based research on how students learn to read. Baker says it'll take a lot of effort to get kids caught up to grade level. Seven hours of a day in a school is not enough time to get our kids caught back up. And that, that is the truth, that is the reality. We've seen investments in other states such as Mississippi, Colorado, Alabama, West Virginia, I would even say New Jersey, Massachusetts. I can go on for days on the particular programs. At the end of the day, we need to start addressing the simple fact that we're not going to close the achievement gap during just the school day hours. We need to become more innovative. We need to look at outside partners, and we also need to look across the country to see what's been working and what's effective. Ultimately, the NPU says although Governor Kathy Hochul has made a historic investment in education, the state should be making more statewide investments in early intervention screenings, high impact tutoring, and expanded learning opportunities to get kids back on track. Michaela. All right, thank you so much, Iran. Let's take another check of this sunrise traffic. Oof, that fog is a doozy, isn't it? Can't barely tell what's going on on the roadways, but as we are here for you, we don't have to worry about that. Our traffic maps look great and green across all of our main thoroughfares. 104 in the throughway similarly looking great, just as 390, 490, and 590 are moving along at speed. Just remember this fog as you head out the door. Yeah. James, uh, we always say the cameras are higher up, so it's not exactly what you'll see on the roads, yeah. but you still want to think about it. Yeah, give yourself uh, more extra extra room, you mm -hmm. know, when you're driving yes. somebody, those uh, taillights can come up real quick uh, if, uh, if you are driving through fog, so watch Great out point. for that. Uh, really, it's not even patchy at this point. It's almost widespread, so keep an eye out for that. Numbers eventually get into the lower 70s, very similar to the past couple of days. No chance for any rain today. We're likely dry tomorrow. That kicks off October. Tomorrow is the first. The best chance for rain comes on Wednesday. Looks like some morning showers that clears out and then a little bit of sun uh, there to finish off the week. All right, look at that. Thank you, James. Thank you for sharing your Monday morning here with News 8 at Sunrise. Your next update in 30 minutes. I think I see you. Just barely. Something. Look at those lights. <laughs> <laughs> Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, X, and on our app for news and weather.